We all talk about fluid overload, but this review formalizes it as fluid accumulation syndrome, defined as any fluid accumulation causing new organ failure. It could hit the brain, lungs, heart, kidneys, liver, gut, and skin. The pathophysiology includes peripheral vasodilation, capillary leak, impaired fluid clearance, and other factors. Diagnosing it isn't just about weight gain. It's about clinical signs like edema, imaging, hemodynamic monitoring, but prevention starts early. Restrict fluids unless absolutely necessary. Sometimes use vasopressors sooner. Check out more about that on the vasopressor and inotrope handbook. And limit sodium and chloride. When fluid accumulation syndrome is present, it's time for deep resuscitation, which includes diuretics, renal replacement therapy for severe cases, sometimes mechanical support also helps. Bottom line is that it's not just a fluid problem, it's a multi-organ syndrome that demands early recognition and targeted therapy. Hat tip to the authors.